Hey everyone, welcome back to Trendmix. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the biggest deals to ever be made on the show Pawn Stars. So, if you're a fan of the show, exclusive rare items, or the Harrison family, then stick around. You won't want to miss this. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below to support the channel. Pawn Stars is a show that takes you inside the colorful world of the gold and silver pawn shop based in Las Vegas, Nevada. Owned and ran by Rick Harrison and two other generations of the Harrison family, they show interactions with customers who bring a variety of artifacts to sell or pawn off. With a show like this, there are always going to be people trying to scam their way to success, but on the other hand, it's a great place to find extremely rare and even one-of-a-kind items worth hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars. In today's video, we'll be showing you just that. Here are 10 of the biggest Pawn Star deals to ever be made in the shop's history. Number 1. A Dutch East India Trading Company Bell a woman that clearly didn't know what she was doing when she brought this in had the surprise of a lifetime when she heard this offer. She said she was offering up a 17th century ship's bell, which seemed strange to Richard Harrison who thought it had to be a reproduction of some sort. Because the ship's bell showed no signs of corrosion from seawater, they decided to have an expert come take a look. Surprisingly, the bell turned out to be real. It was confirmed to be a shipwrecked bell from the year 1602 and was worth at least $15,000. The Harrisons quickly struck a deal with the bell's owner, who was shocked, saying that she almost was crazy enough to put it out in a yard sale. This just goes to show, if you are ever looking to get rid of some old items, please check the value of them before just giving them away, because you could be tossing something worth thousands of dollars. Number 2. A 5th edition copy of the Book of Mormon In 2013, a man named Adam brought in a prospectus for the book known as The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. During that interaction, Adam made a deal with Rick for $5,500. Now, Adam is back with a new and more exciting offer. He brought in the 5th edition of the Book of Mormon, which happened to be the last edition ever to be printed during Joseph Smith's lifetime. He asked $25,000 for it, and Rick, wanting to make sure it was fair, called upon Rebecca Romnett, a rare book expert based in Las Vegas. Rebecca started off saying that traditionally, later editions of books don't usually hold a lot of value, but because this one is so rare and so significant to the history of America, that wasn't the case. Shocking both Rick and Adam, she appraised the book at an insane $40,000. After a brief bit of negotiation, Adam struck yet another deal with Rick, but this time for $24,000. Number 3. A 2001 Patriots Super Bowl Ring Though this isn't a deal that was specifically made on the show, Rick decided to give the fans some history of one of his favorite items in the pawn shop. When Patriots defensive back Brock Williams hit a hard patch during his career, he turned to the pawn shop to get some fast cash. Unfortunately, the rookie had accumulated several injuries that forced him into an early retirement. He offered up his 2001 Patriots Super Bowl ring for a modest $2,600 and even though he had 120 days to reclaim his ring by repaying the loan, he never actually came back for it. Now, even though rings similar to it are being sold for around $30,000 on auction websites, Rick isn't ready to let go of it. He set the sale price on this ring for a whopping $100,000. Number 4. John F. Kennedy's Cigar Box Like I stated previously, Sometimes people can bring extremely rare, one-of-a-kind items into pawn shops, and that's exactly what happened in Pawn Stars Season 12. A seller walked into the shop with a one-of-a-kind piece of presidential history, a box of unused cigars that once sat on John F. Kennedy's desk in the Oval Office. Clearly, the seller knew exactly what they were doing, asking for a crazy $95,000 for it. 
After much back and forth haggling, Rick managed to purchase this one-of-a-kind item for $60,000. Number 5. Rock Legend Stephen Stills Guitar Whenever a musical instrument that was once owned by a famous musician makes its way to the market, you know that there will be a heavy price tag attached to it. That's exactly what happened when a Pawn Stars customer walked in with a 1941 Gibson SJ200 guitar owned by the legend Stephen Stills of Stills Crosby and Nash. As an added icing on top of the cake, it even came with the receipt and the star's signature. Rick seemed absolutely astounded to see this piece in his shop, but needed to bring in an expert to make sure that it was the real deal. According to the expert, the guitar alone was worth $75,000 to $95,000, but with the celebrity owner, signature, and receipt, the price shot up by another $20,000. Rick was more than happy to take this one-of-a-kind piece off the previous owner's hands for a whopping $85,000. Number 6. A Pair of Pure Diamond Earrings this sale ended up being one of the most surprising and shocking moments in Pawn Stars history. A man wearing a full suit walked into the shop, clearly ready to do some serious business. He wanted to pawn off a pair of pure diamond earrings. Rick, clearly not wanting to get duped, as diamonds are often faked in pawn shop deals, asked all of the right questions and examined the earrings thoroughly. He ended up taking them off of the seller's hands for $40,000. But it doesn't end there. Three days later, the cop showed up and informed Rick that even though the diamonds were real, they were also stolen. Luckily, the woman did end up getting her earrings back, but Rick and the palm shot were out 40 grand, and there was absolutely nothing that they could do about it. Number 7. A 2014 Hertz Penske GT Mustang When you think of a pawn shop, you typically think of small to medium-sized items like jewelry and trinkets of that caliber. Let's just say it definitely caught Rick off guard when a man rolled up in a rare 2014 Hertz Penske GT Mustang looking to strike a deal. This car was a limited 150-piece edition and part of the Rent-A-Racer program with Roger Penske. He offered to pawn it for $85,000, with a $60,000 limit being the lowest he would go. Rick tasked NASCAR driver Joey Logano to test drive the vehicle and give an expert opinion on the pricing. He gave a value of $75,000 to the car and eventually caved to his lowest offer of $60,000. Number 8. A 1915 Panama Pacific Octagonal Gold Coin while most deals do take place inside the gold and silver pawn shop, not all of them do. Rick headed to one of the biggest coin auctions in Florida, looking for something very specific. A customer back home was willing to pay $70,000 for a San Francisco Pacific octagonal gold coin, if it was in good shape of course. Rick did end up purchasing a coin and the man back home bargained him down to $67,500. Rick stated that he would rather make a little money than make no money at all. Number 9. A 1932 Ford Roadster Rick and Corey Harrison headed across town when they heard about a jet black 1932 Model B Ford Roadster. They knew instantly that they had found something worthwhile. The car, which was designed by Ford's son, Edsel, had 500 horsepower and a unique convertible top and roll-up windows. The owner was asking $105,000 for it. They called in an expert to give a fair value of the vehicle, and he said since it was in such good shape, it would be around $75,000. After a ton of back and forth bargaining, the Harrisons took it off the seller's hands for $68,250. Number 10. A Gibson Les Paul SG Custom Guitar As we know from a previous sale, guitars can sometimes be extremely rare and valuable in the world of pawning. A customer walked in with a 1961 Gibson SG Les Paul Custom Guitar that was in perfect condition. The instrument was owned by none other than Mary Ford, 
the wife of Les Paul. They called in an expert to check on the legitimacy of it all and valued it at an insane $150,000. After a ton of back and forth, Rick talked the seller down and purchased this one-of-a-kind piece for $90,000. So those were 10 of the biggest Pawn Star deals to ever be made in the show's history. What did you guys think about them? Are any of you into pawn shopping? And if you are, what are some of the most insane items you've sold or currently own? Let us know down in the comments below. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload, and we'll see you next time on Trendmix.